23rd of September 1944, the 54th day of the Warsaw Uprising, and Stalin sends a signal to the American commanders to tell them that the commanders of the Warsaw Uprising have now fled the city and are controlling it from a remote location, but they can't be found. The level of disinformation coming from the Soviet side makes it very hard for a concerted Allied effort and approach towards the Warsaw Uprising. Not surprisingly, many could and indeed did feel bitter towards the Allies for their lack of support, be they British, American or Soviet. Stalin has a puppet government which he's waiting to install uh, the moment that Warsaw falls, which surely must be any day now. Because of its physical location and because of the immense Soviet contribution to the war, Poland falls once again victim to international politics, played out at scale on Warsaw streets. Cheniakov is now fully controlled by the Germans, and as has become a kind of depressing normality, they kill any injured uh, and soldiers they find, and rape any women that they can get their hands on. Today, Oshilibovsky is with a group of people who are captured. They find a pistol on one of the women there, and they kill her immediately. They hang a priest with his own robes. Hundreds of bodies lie strewn around the place and the contents of homes are emptied out. It was, quite literally, hell on earth. Thank you very much for watching this episode of 63 Days of Extraordinary Courage, where we tell the tragic but inspiring story of the Warsaw Uprising. Please support this project by sharing this film, giving your reaction in the comments section below, and tuning in for tomorrow's episode at 5pm Warsaw time, 11am Eastern Standard Time.